uh, dear students so uh, today we will see that how the in uncertainty uh, we can find the activities okay since we know that in real world uh, the ideal situation might not be possible why because uh, there could be some delays uh, from the worker side there could be delays from the labor there could be delays from uh, stakeholders there could be delays from um, supply chain so keeping all this in mind so we have three um, options over here the first is called optimistic option uh, the second is called uh, most likely and third is called pessimistic so i just encircle this for you so this is like you know optimistic which we represent a like for example if we do it uh, in a less time uh, or the ideal time that is uh, optimistic most likely means like uh, with the like normal delays with the probabilistic delay and the third one is called uh, pessimistic means with the worst case so in worst case uh, uh, this much time could be taken by the certain activity so uh, for this one we have a certain formulas to uh, find the expected uh, time for that one so in these uh, three cases um, uh, we represent with a uh, and uh, m and b so there is a formula so this formula we will apply here and fit over here so if we compute these uh, values uh, a value let's suppose 4 uh, m value is 6 and b is 14 and, and compute in this formula so we will get the answer 7 right and similarly we will compute it for the b uh, we will apply the same formula for this one we will apply the same formula for all these uh, values we have it right so uh, then what will happen so if we have calculated all these things then we need to find the variance so how to find the variance we will not find the variance for all the tasks we will only find the variance for the critical path right so in the previous time uh, we find the critical path which was b d e f right so this was the critical path where the slack value s was zero so we say s equal to uh, zero right so where s is zero so we will only find for those so uh, so for the b the variance is this one so formula for a variance is b minus a divided by six whole square so that is the variance sigma square so for the b we will find for the d e and f we will find and then we will we will add them all why we add them all because these are the variance for the task not for the project so for the project we need to add them all the variances for the task so the project variance is uh, in this case is 8.33 so you can see over here this is 8.33 for the whole project and the standard deviation which is sigma okay because we need to take the square root of this uh, sigma square so that becomes the standard deviation which is 2.8867 right so in this case we we got this one okay so why why do we need it actually we need it uh, uh, for calculation of the um, uh, the percentage that uh, what is the probability that we can complete the project in a certain uh, time okay so let's so uh, let's say let's check some example over here and we will see that how these examples uh, can be uh, found out now in this case uh, the mu is was 32 as we saw in this one where we found the, the critical path so the critical path was a bdef so as per this one uh, the as per this one the mu is 32 and the last one mu is 32 and uh, and the sigma we found the standard deviation is 2.8 uh, okay so how to uh, find the uh, the the value over here so to find the value of the z uh, what we needed so z is very simple as you might already know uh, in different uh, statistics courses so z is basically uh, as a very helpful value which give us lead us to different probabilities uh, of that certain entities so basically x is like so let's suppose if you want to find in the question if you are asked the question less than 35 weeks so what is the probability of this one so we put in in the value here 35 okay, mu we already found which is 32 and the sigma is 2.887 uh, 8867 which is the standard deviation so we got this z value so this is the z value now we need to check uh, into the uh, z table so we already know that z table is uh, starting from 0 to infinity but usually people they use it like z uh, from uh, 1 to uh, uh, from uh, from 1 to 3 is more plus minus so these are the values which we have it so I will show you the uh, the table this is a z table we have it 
so you can see the the ranges so on the y axis we have some like you know bigger values on the on the x axis we have smaller values uh, in the fraction and then we and upon upon the intersection of these values we find for example if our value z score, score is minus 3.1 and the another value is 0 0.01 so we take the intersection of this and this is the probability then uh, this is for the positive even for the negative you can also see that how for the negative uh, we can well, this is for negative and for the positive we can also see if the value is of the z score is basically it's a single value we split into two so for example the first is 0 0.5 so it basically it should be 0 0.04 let's suppose for example if the value is 0 0.04 so the intersection would be this one I, I hope i'm right in this yeah so the, the probability should be 70 percent so this is how we uh, how this is calculated and uh, even the formulas are given here as well so you can see the formulas okay now now coming back to our uh, question so what we see over here so for formula is x minus mu divided by standard deviation so if you compute the values we will get the z score is 1.04 so we check the in, the in the table. So in the table, it was 85% probability, or we can say the probability was 0 0.85. So usually probability is ranging from 0 to uh, 1, right? So most the the probability, the answer would be in between 0 to 1. So here you can see the our answer is uh, is like you know 0.85. So graphically, if you look here, over here, so uh, the value of z comes here in the normal distribution in the distribution value here and so this is our probability that we can complete the project in 35 weeks okay now coming uh, to the next question okay next question okay is like for example uh, what is the probability uh, we can complete the project uh, in more than 30 31 weeks right so in more than 31 weeks the probability it should be the same thing we need to compute the value of uh, uh, x and mu and and uh, the standard deviation when we get the value of z we need to check in the in the in the table uh, in the table of uh, the z table which i already show you this table right and even there is like you know a calculator as well you can use this calculator it's very uh, handy so you can see the different like you know uh, distribution of the x value if x is less than so it will be the distribution on will be on the left side if it is greater than 5 it will be on the right side if it is in between two values so it will be in the middle so the red side colors tell you and this is the formula we have it so now you can see here uh, yes now you can see here that uh, uh, what is the answer for this one so we found this with the 1 minus the probability of 0 0.35 so with this one you can see it is a 63 uh, percent so the answer is like you know a 63 percent or the probability is 0 0.63 so the, the, since they say that less than uh, 31 weeks, so we, you need to minus with the one minus the the required thing. Okay. Now uh, the next one, the next question is about between 31 and 35. So it will be uh, a segment between the distribution. Now you see over here, you can see visually that segment it would be. So we have now two value of x, uh, x is 31 and x is 35, and we have two value of z is uh, minus 0 0.35 and z is 1 0. So based on this one, we need to take a difference of these two probabilities. Okay, so the probability difference is 0 0.85 minus 0 0.3632. So the, our answer is 0 0.48. So we have 48 percent chances to complete the uh, this project in a uh, in 30 between 31 and 35 weeks. Now we have the another one is uh, in case uh, in less than 31 and more than 35. So what is the probability of that one? So here again we have two values of x and two values of z and uh, as per the calculation uh, uh, we got this which is uh, um, 0 0.51 percent so 51 percent uh, probability for that one okay so now mm, now we do the reverse case in reverse case in case uh, if you are given z okay if the z is let's suppose uh, uh, the z is given which is uh, one point uh, uh, one point two zero eight right so this the z value is given uh, so uh, z is given over here and uh, sigma is also given mu is also given okay so how can we find the x so if you want a 90 percent probability of completing the project on time when should we begin right so this is the question for you so that's that in this one we do reverse engineering 
So in the reverse engineering, what we do it, uh, we we play with this equation. So this equation is very simple. So what I have to do, I need to extract this value, right? So uh, what I will do it, this sigma will be shifted to uh, on the left hand side, right? And then minus with the mu. So this this sign, this minus uh, mu will be shifted to the left hand side again, and we will get the the desired value. So and then x would be uh, x, x x would be like a uh, 32 plus one point. So so it means that mm, the total x will be that we can finish this project uh, in how many weeks? So here we find the number of weeks, which is 35.7 means total 36 weeks we would be needing. So this is like you know the whole uh, uh, chapter for the uh, for how we can find the critical path, how can we find the uh, x value, how can we find the mu value, how can we find the standard deviation, and how can we find the uh, sigma value? And uh, there we discuss some questions with respect to the distribution. So I hope you have got the good view of this uh, this topic. See you in the next video.